Hi, this is Jeff Macrae with Reef Dynamics, and I wanted to reply to Echo 419's post here on Reef Tools regarding wet dry filtration. Uh, in the series of videos I did with Jim Stein on LA Fish Guys about protein skimmers, I did talk about uh, wet dry filtration systems and how I basically thought that they were you know, quite antiquated and really outmoded and shouldn't really be used at all, um, maybe with a, a few exceptions. So I wanted to kind of elaborate on that and maybe reiterate a few of the points I made in the video. Uh, the primary reason being um, for not using them would be that they're basically nitrate factories. Um, you're growing bacteria on a, on a plastic media or synthetic media with the primary purpose of providing a large surface area for bacterial colonization and then direct access to uh, air enriched water. And uh, one of the problems is that air is 70% nitrogen. It's not oxygen as we think. There is some oxygen in there but it's a fairly small amount. Um, and that is what's required by the bacteria to, um, for their metabolic processes for oxidizing the organics, ammonia and nitrite. But the problem is that um, that nitrogen that's in the air um, ends up becoming a nutrient for algae that grow in the system. Um, the other problem, which is just a direct result of the process, is instead of um, with a, like with a protein skimmer where you're physically um, stripping or fractionating the organics from the water before they break down and become oxidized, you're actually um, kind of encouraging that process by uh, providing that surface area for all those bacteria to grow um, and then that wet, dry, slash, you know, moist environment where it's optimal for bacterial process. So you end up just having the bacteria occurring all the ammonia and nitrate that they come in contact with into nitrate. Um, and you have to deal with that. Um, and in the past, traditionally, it's been water changes, and quite a few of them, if you've got a heavy bile load or a lot of large fish with heavy feeding. Um, though now we have, uh, you know, Reef Dynamics has our NOPO, which is no nitrate, no phosphate, bio pellets, and our new exclusive reactors. Uh, it'll be the world first reactor actually developed for bio pellets, and we have some really unique features on that that um, they'll be coming out next month. So anyhow, I hope that gives you some more insight into the reasons why we don't use wet dry filtration, and then I'll recommend it. Um, the exceptions might be like a large public aquarium or like in a hotel or a bank or a restaurant where it's kind of a synthetic display with not a lot of surface area of rocks or even plastic for bacterial colonization and a he very, very heavy bile with large fish and a lot of feeding. Um, in which case, quite frankly, they should have an exceedingly large protein skimmer um, and really biofiltration as an auxiliary. but Unfortunately, uh, uh, hard heads are hard to change in terms of uh, old school philosophy and um, hopefully as time goes on with these higher quality protein skimmers that we've been making here for quite some time and with the new bio pellets, um, that ideology will go away and it will make way for something more efficient. So, Anyhow, I hope that helps and um, I'll do my best to keep putting these uh, YouTube videos up and uh, pushing them here on Reef Tools when I can and when it's required. And uh, other than that, have a great day and enjoy your reefing. Bye-bye.